We got zero people subscribing to us and followers from I didn't even think this stupid was possible. For your amazing shows. The chicken professor show. To Grease Pole <laughs> Festival. Uh, probably Hot my favorite takes. part of the show. Yep. Hot takes. We can never do it as good as he does. Let's just be honest. Yeah, I know. Hot takes. Here we go. There it is, Kate May Harold. Harold, uh, by anonymous readers. Those who that's me and you, anonymous know, readers. Know that I haven't mm -hmm. been doing this for very long, but already it seems like the level of coherency and intelligence among these posts have dropped dramatically. We got a lot to unpack today, so uh, let's get right Ooh. into it. First I'm letter. dying already. Ocean City. What has happened to our once great nation? We are becoming like fall of Roman Empire, being destroyed by enemies from within and without our nation. It seems that all people want to do anymore is make money, watch sports, drink beer, and go to Ausman parks while our country <laughs> goes down the Marxist sewer hole. There's not much patriotism and love for America anymore. People keep voting for the same losers over and over again, if they vote at all. Cartoonist Walt Kelly's comic strip Pogo's famous saying seems apropos, and I second it. We have met the enemy, and he is us. May God have mercy on us. May God have mercy on me. Uh, uh, you know, public service announcement. There are a lot of tools available right on the internet to help with grammar and spelling. Apparently, this armchair geezer has opted to flagrantly disregard all means of assistance. Aside from his gibberish about politics, religion, history, and an attempt at a popular culture reference from the early 1950s. Uh, apparently, this guy thinks love for America is defined as busting balls and busting your ass. How dare you people go out and make money and, and try and enjoy yourselves out I there in the, and go in the to sunshine. Them. <laughs> right. I'm parks. glad I have no idea who this dude is because he gets the official Hot Takes Recognition Award for... <laughs> No, <laughs> he definitely got no big one. titties. Uh, Middle Township. The Herald Spout Off is not any different than the censorship off. they had under Joseph Stalin. Look it up. <laughs> Liberals, more like communism. If you ask so people, and I would like to add that the government had no right making New Jersey a sanctuary state. It should have been put on the electoral ballot for the people of this state to vote for it or not. They have no right giving wow. away taxpayers' money to non-citizens. It's unconstitutional, and if you had half a brain, you would know that. No, N-O. <laughs> Instead, we live in this insane lawlessness time, and all the Democrats want to do <laughs> is to spend money it's not right. Fool. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't speak baloney. Uh, I need a baloney translator. Does anyone out funny. there speak baloney? I don't speak baloney either. You help. speak baloney? I don't. <laughs> no. no idea. Oh, geez. Uh, uh, third, let's go to number three. Why is the moderator censoring all spouts about the youth, in quotes, Utes. gangs in our cities? Every day oh, there is a report of a shooting, robbery, rape, murder, mugging, etc. That's Philly in the 80s. can readily identify the perpetrators, yet no one has the courage to tell it like it is. By refusing to print the truth, you are contributing to the perpetuation of these crimes. It's what? right there in front of your face, yet everyone is paralyzed by the fear of being called a racist. There, I said it. It's not racist to tell the truth. Okay, so uh, another public service announcement. Let, let's see, how do I put this? <laughs> if you're going to equate racism with an increase in crime, you're a racist. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh my god, it's so fun! <laughs> You're racist! Stay on the TV news stations for interviewing families taking advantage of oh. today's weather. Those kids should be in school, not on the boardwalk. <laughs> they probably can't spell Ocean City. Is it any wonder we're a dumb society? Great oh. parenting. Uh, oh my god. Let the kids go to a boardwalk on a field trip. <laughs> no fun! <laughs> Oh my gosh, uh, he's going to give next? me a coronary, I'm just saying. Just finished reading in the Herald about the pop-up beach parties and how they are not authorized on the Wild Woods beaches. 
hmm. pop-up beach parties. Yes, that will great. stop these pop-up anythings that will definitely occur in Wildwood this summer. If it's oh, not sorry. out of control cars doing burnouts on the streets, <laughs> now it is out of control drunks and stoners on the beach. <laughs> Oh my God, what's wrong with these people? Who doesn't want to go drink beer on the beach? Uh, let's see a show of hands. Anyone? Uh, anyone? Okay, here we go. Say it with me. <laughs> no fun! No fun! No fun. Got another one for you. Courthouse. Yeah. I'm excited. When is Middle Township going to do anything about the dump on 47? Looks like a junkyard and the drug dealing going on all hours of the day and night. Well, mm -hmm. hey, you know what they say, any press is good press, so <laughs> drug sales are up at the dump this week. So anyone, <laughs> any, anyone's in the market for drugs. I, I, we got into I, the I dump, to trying to get some, some drugs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Well, that brings us for uh, the last one for the week. Oh, uh, I'm, Stone I'm Harbor. Excited. Fire trucks are custom-made vehicles. The buyer submits specifications and accepts low-bid that meets spec that meets specs. The fire truck doesn't hit the assembly line until sometime after the contract is signed and the deposit check clears. This all it makes can sense. Take as long as two years from order to delivery. You don't go down okay. to the fire truck store and pick one up and drive it home. You don't. You can't wait until one breaks to buy a new one. You have a long wait. Prices yeah. go up every year, but lock in when the contract is signed. A delay okay. in signing can be costly. It's true. I agree. I don't know what that means, but if anyone's in the market for a fire truck, I, I thought that was really good information. Uh, a public service announcement, be sure to order your fire trucks at least two years in advance. Order so, your fire truck early, people. I give up and please help me. This has been Hot Takes with Fitz. Hot Takes with Fitz! With Fitz. Oh, that was my so favorite good. one so far. That oh. was good. That was so good. I, I like the way that he had... That, that in one sentence he said pop up and then wood. It was just. <laughs> Thank you for watching this segment of the TP show. Please follow us on Fruit Lab. Don't forget we have a podcast on your favorite podcast app. This has been another installment of the TP show.